What's up guys, Zach here and welcome to another Java game development tutorial. Today what we're going to do is finish up our entire series. So just because this series is done doesn't mean I'm done with Java. I will still continue to make different cool Java tutorials, kind of like what I do with my Game Maker now, um, where you know it's not exactly a full project, but I can go about like doing cool different things. Um, so in this episode today we are going to extract all of our files we're gonna put it through a program called jar splice and this program is going to create what's called a fat jar which has all of our resources in there all of our libraries all of our natives everything that we need and we can also make it into an exe file which is really cool so here I just have the project open and in the description I have a download for jar splice so go ahead and download that and we're gonna go ahead and begin. So if you open up the jar splice here, you know, it's a pretty simple interface. So let me just go to the desktop here. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is it's the add jars. So in Eclipse, go ahead and click on your project and go to File, Export, and then you're gonna wanna uh, extract our runnable jar file and uh, you know put it wherever you want make sure the launch configuration is with your game so let's build a game make sure it's not you know any other game here and then you're going to want to package required libraries into generated jar and that's pretty much it so if we hit finish hit ok and there we go so on our desktop now we now have the game jar file and if we go ahead and try and run it nothing happens um, and that's because for one we're getting a bunch of errors and for two it doesn't have any of the libraries inside that jar so with jar splice I'm gonna go to add jars and here um, I'm gonna pick our game jar and then you're gonna wanna navigate towards um, wherever your LWJGL files are and all of the libraries that we use to create the sounds so I'm gonna go over here to libraries jars and all of these I'm just going to add in and then we're gonna go to natives add natives I'm gonna go back to our LWJGL native Windows because we're exporting it on Windows copy all of these and add them all right and then in our main class it gives you an example right here our main class is com.tutorial.main.game because this is where our main class is located right here and Josh Place wants to know that so we'll say com.tutorial.main.game let's make, just make sure that's correct yep so pretty simple so now once we have all that information in, if we go ahead and say create fat jar and I'll just name it let's build a game and save it and we try and run the game you'll notice that still nothing pops up and why is this this is because yes now we have the current libraries integrated into our jar file but now we need to be able to capture the resources that it's trying to get like the sound so I'm gonna create a new folder called uh, let's build a game I'm gonna put that in our jar file inside that and then I'm gonna go to documents Java workspace awesome game because that's our directory workspace for our uh, Eclipse and then we're gonna go to uh, where's our let's build a game right here and I'm going to take this res folder, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it right in. So here we have all of the resources, and now if we try and run it, look at that, we get a game. And it's running smooth, we can do whatever we want, all of that fun stuff, alright? So, what's cool about Jar Splice is that you can actually create an exe file for it too. So we create a windows.exe and we put it into our um, let's build a game folder 
and we say let's call let's build a game app save it it's successfully created and we run it and just like that now an exe file application is playing our game all right pretty cool stuff so that's gonna be it now all you have to do is package this if you want to put it into a zip folder and put it online and have someone download it whatever uh, the reason why we need this res folder so close is because just in our code we did the forward slash res folder that was our directory so if you want this somewhere else then you have to go into putting the directory somewhere else so if you wanted to have the game installed on your computer into a certain folders and all that then uh, that would be programmed through the game of word to capture those resources all right but uh, thank you guys for watching. It's been a great series. I will definitely be more uh, with the Java tutorials, of course. And let's go ahead and try 400 likes. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.